Okay guys, I would show you the tricks to beat the level in no time. First of all, I'm not good at English and English is not my main language so sorry for that. And here I am on Atlantis Cup. So I've been playing just for a few months. This game is really hard. I could see in the in the group that some of the people have been playing for years. Yes, years. And they are just on level 2000 plus. And furthermore, I have not spent any money on this game. It would be a waste spending money on games. And I, what I do is what the diamonds it it is from the team play most of it then the trick to this is keep saving your power ups use it if you need it then i would give you a tip for the what you call that the games mini games you uh, if you finish those in six if you finish those you have six hours of time unlimited lives then if you the game chess you finish it you have one hour then another two hours then the third chess is three hours so that's a total of six hours and plus the the one on the league you get and that's six hours of another unlimited lives so it would be best if you uh, play it on weekends like saturday or sunday with 12 hours straight that's already a lot okay so on this game if you finish this game you will end up on Atlantis Cup If you are on top of the seahorse or the shell which has the full power up you don't even need some power up for the stage right like here you could see you have two triangle a bomb and two firecracker that, that is uh, a much of a help for the level you can finish this level so quick the blue one then white okay. Okay. in just few moves you will finish this stage see that there. three more crabs And it would be a waste if you use power up, then there's extra power up. Unless you are, you want to spend a lot on those power ups, or you have too much extra. But it is better if you save those power up if you need it. You could see that still have 20 moves and. I almost finished the level and there it's done in just a few moves it's a too much far up it's really too much already have the five power ups on the seahorse level on instances like super hard level what i do is i save the power up i play for an hour if i have the unlimited time but then if i really can't finish it that's the time i use it it's best if you save your power up 
try to be on top on your league. Being on top has many benefits, like you will get the extra power up, and the best of it is you have extra 6 hours of unlimited life. So, if you can finish the top on your league, then drop your ranking and be on the lower league so you could be on top there and if you are gonna use the six hours it's best if you use it in full time like if you have more free time like sunday saturday you have no work then use the six hours then the power up save it if you can join a team it is best if you had a team you could request lives every 4 hours that's extra 5 lives I could remember I was around round 20 on the first time I joined this team but not much are active now so I plan to change to different team it would be good too you could join some events also don't forget to add your Facebook friends uh, you could uh, add me too I could send lives to you every day Find a team which you can be on top. Well, if you have a not so active team, it's better you change to a better team. Because being top on the team or second, third, you can get some extra diamonds. You don't need to spend some cash for the extra diamonds. If you have a good team, you could get number one in the tournament. You don't even have to spend any cash on diamond. So it's best if you have find a good team. On mini games like this submarine, try to be on top, do your best. You see here I had extra four hours. If I go on top. And what I did was I saved all the gas before I played this, this mini game and i played it continuously i would upload the video which later on a guide to be on top how i played this submarine game okay so here we run up lives we're gonna accept life from our friends i mean our teammates and by the way, this is really hard. It's not super hard and it's not, not a hard level. But it takes a few tries to finish this. Because it is a time game. And on time game, what we need to do is what we see, we just keep on hitting it. Because we're gonna run out of time thinking what to build. Okay, just keep going. Just go or we die. Okay, less than oh, around 30 plus seconds left. Just keep building and building. Just keep moving and moving. Less than half a minute. Okay, we're gonna run out of time. Yep, this is a hard stage. It should be super hard stage, but it is not indicated. See, it's run out of time. You don't need to use diamond. We just keep trying and we will win. And this is how hard time game is. <laughs> 